G'day folks, Andy here from McDowell Manor. So we're heading into spring over here. And I'm looking at the aquaponics bed thinking that needs a serious maintain. Now, the end I'm pointed at is going quite well. You can see the mints going gangbusters. Uh, I've got shallots in there, I've got tomatoes that are starting to produce tomatoes, little mini romas. I've got a collard in the back that's taken off. Now that kangkong, you'd expect it to look like that at this time of year. You can see it's coming back, which is what we want. It dies right back in winter, so it's okay. But everything to the left of the kangkong is really not going very well at all. So what I'm thinking is it probably needs a damn good clean out. Um, so I might do that today. There's not enough plants in there that, on that end anyway, that's going to cause a significant bother. So I'll pull them out and then re-put them in once I've finished. And I'll give that a good old flush out with a hose. That's the return pipe on the aquaponics. So I've unplugged it, the pump. So we'll just let that drain. And when that's finished, we'll get into it. You can see it's only held in by that shoe there, which means I can slide that pipe out pretty easy. So that'll go down on the ground um, to get rid of all the mucky stuff that comes out. So you can see the plants are out now. I'll give you a look at them. Just dropped them on the other side here near the tank. Some of those have got exceptionally good root. Like, look at that bloody little tomato. So they seem to be going quite well below the ground. It's above the ground that's a problem. Now, the other option is it could be early onset of spring rats, because as you know, I battle the bloody rats over here. But I will give that bed a clean out. Well, at least half the bed a clean out. I did the other half last time. Um, that would have been a few months ago now. I don't tend to do, this is the first time I've ever started cleaning beds out. Um, so I'll know, I guess, when I start flushing it out, how much rubbish is actually in there. So at the moment, before I turn the hose on, you can see it's running really clean. That's what I've been seeing going back into the fish tank. Uh, we'll see what happens. I've hooked the hose up now. It's buried in the pellets there, so I'm about to give it a blast. So I've given those clay balls a bit of a stir around with my hand and you can see there is, uh, if I can get the sun out the way, you can see there's a fair bit of crap in there. Let's have a look. And you can see, I think, yep, that pipe is running pretty dirty. So I'll continue to swill around and we'll leave that going, I think. The inside here where I've got the hose isn't too bad. The other side's pretty feral, so I'm actually going to move the hose over that side and do it from that side in a minute. Hopefully you can see by the colour of that water it is pretty mucky on this side. I've swapped it over now. So I'm on the outside and the hose has gone in there. I'm going to take the top off the standpipe just to get it really flooding out of that outpipe. Yeah, that's really running dirty now. So, so we've needed it. Okay, you can probably see in here that's really triggered on the flood and drain, so she's really pulling a lot of crap through now. Very, very dirty. So we're on flood and drain number four. Um, still dirty, but it's certainly nowhere near as dirty as it was. So I'll keep going. La uh, when it cut off last time, it was actually running fairly clean. Um, but I'll keep going probably for a couple more. Keep swirling it around to get rid of that little light browny crap down there. The dirt. So here we go. Certainly a lot better than it was at this point in time. I'm just waiting for the flood mechanism, to, the drain mechanism, sorry, to kick in. So it's not perfect, but it's a damn sight better than it was. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. I'll stir it round up above just to fill this drain stops and then I'll hook it all back up and put the plants back in. The more I sort of stir it around the more rubbish is coming out so it's good to get rid of it. What I am happy about is it's not blocked up with roots. I was worried that all that mint had put its roots all through there and it would have been completely blocked up with roots but that's not the case. So I'd say it's been in, um, anaerobic for a little while. It's killed everything off from that end, forced it back up the other end. So it's all back together again. 
Um, so I'm just hanging around out here at the moment, waiting for the first drain to cut in. Sometimes I've got to lift the top off that standpipe once I stop the pump, so it gets out of whack a bit. Um, so I'll hang around out here and hope that we've made a difference. I guess pretty soon you guys will get to see, because what I'll do is post an update on the half maintained aquaponics bed um, it's three years old I reckon now now I've hardly ever maintained it like I said I washed out I think it was this end of it uh, about six months ago um, I'd have hoped that it got the whole bed but it obviously hadn't got the bottom end there um, so we'll see how the plants go if the plants buck up it's a surefire sign yeah that was your issue Andy uh, if the plants don't buck up, then I'll have to think about what else to do. Could be a case of, although they're not showing a lot of signs of needing trace elements or anything. Um, but we'll have a look, see, keep an eye on it, see what happens, eh? Now the other thing I'll mention just as I go is I'm pretty down on fish numbers now. Um, but I'll restock. Um, as soon as I can once the spring hits properly um, I guess that's always going to happen when you're eating the stuff that's in here and they really are very good eating um, so come a couple of months and you also get it to see us out I might add 50 this time because I'm a lot more confident in what I'm doing so you'll see us add a whole lot of new jade perch <laughs>